Welcome to Kaleidoscope Pro from Wildlife Acoustics. This video will focus on getting up and running to do cluster analysis. Cluster analysis is a powerful tool for sorting and identifying vocalizations based on similar acoustic signatures. Cluster analysis can be used for bats and other animals. This video will use birds for its clustering examples. There are three types of cluster analysis available in Kaleidoscope Pro. Let's start with basic clustering. Under the Batch tab, I'll browse to set an input directory. For this demonstration, I have two sets of recordings that were made at the same location at different times. I'll choose the folder that contains the first set of recordings to be analyzed. There are 36 audio files in this folder, and each recording is one minute or less in length. Within one minute, it's possible to record multiple birds or multiple songs from the same bird, so it's likely that these recordings may contain many separate bird vocalizations. I'll select an empty output directory for the first set of cluster analysis results. Kaleidoscope Pro doesn't need to convert or create audio or zero crossing files on output in order to do clustering. To save time and disk space, I'll uncheck the option to create those output files. Before the cluster analysis can be done, Kaleidoscope Pro will run the input files through the conditions configured under the Signal Params tab. There are different signal parameters for bat analysis mode and non-bat analysis mode. Because I'm working with recordings of birds, I'll make sure Kaleidoscope Pro is in non-bat analysis mode. The default settings in the Signal Params tab are usually a good place to start. What these settings describe is that Kaleidoscope Pro will look for signals within the files that are between 250 Hz and 10 kHz in frequency. The second setting is looking for continuous signals between 0.1 and 7.5 seconds in length. Kaleidoscope Pro is currently set to look for a gap of 0.35 seconds between syllables. If there is a signal that passes the first two conditions and is then followed by 0.35 seconds or more of silence, Kaleidoscope Pro will consider that segment of the recording to be a single detected signal. Now I'll click on the Cluster Analysis tab. From the menu, I'll select Scan and Cluster Recordings to create Cluster.KCS and Cluster.CSV. This is the first step for a basic clustering operation. For the first cluster analysis batch process, I'm going to leave most of the default settings, but I am going to make sure that all the detected signals will be included in the cluster analysis output. I'll set the max distance from cluster center to include outputs in cluster.csv to 2. Now I'll press the Process Files button, and Kaleidoscope Pro will go to work. The input files are examined using the settings under the Signal Params tab. The cluster analysis then looks at the detected vocalizations and sorts the vocalizations into clusters. OK, now the first cluster analysis pass is complete. The viewer and results window open automatically. I'll arrange these windows so I have a large view of the spectrogram on the left and a list of the detected vocalizations on the right. What we see are individual detected signals or vocalizations that have been derived from the input files. Remember we started with 36 input files? If I scroll down, I see that Kaleidoscope Pro has detected almost 1,500 separate vocalizations within those 36 files. I also see that a total of 30 clusters have been formed, numbered 0 to 29. From the original 36 files, 1,500 vocalizations have been found, and those 1,500 vocalizations have been grouped into a total of 30 separate clusters. The clusters have been named using numbers. The lowest number represents the cluster that has the most similar vocalizations. The vocalizations within each cluster have been sorted, so the vocalization that is closest to the cluster center is at the top of the list. The vocalization at the top of the list is the best example of the most common cluster. I can use the viewer to examine the vocalizations. If I advance to the next vocalization in the list, you can see it's very similar to the previous one. I can continue to advance through vocalizations in this cluster, and you can see they're all very similar. 
I'll press the play button to give the first detected signal a quick listen. I think that's a titmouse. I can check the timestamp and I see this vocalization was recorded on April 30th, 2017 at 1.50 p.m. I'll check a vocalization from a different input file but from within the same cluster. This vocalization was recorded April 30, 2017 at 2 p.m. So that could be the same titmouse 10 minutes later. Here's another vocalization from the same cluster but a different input file. I can see that this recording was made April 14th of 2017 at 6.30 a.m. It could be the same titmouse or it could be a different titmouse. But now I'm starting to understand that a common bird in these recordings is the titmouse, at least with this specific vocalization, and based on the information in the original input files and the found clusters. I've got a separate set of buttons that will advance to the first file in the next cluster. If I continue to advance through clusters, I find that each cluster either represents a different bird or variations of the same bird. If a single species has a variation of songs, those songs may be sorted into different clusters. This is the first level of cluster analysis. Kaleidoscope Pro has detected vocalizations within audio files and sorted them by similarity. The results window represents an underlying cluster.csv file. The cluster.csv file can be opened in a spreadsheet application for further analysis. We haven't identified any particular species yet, other than perhaps the titmouse, but we have grouped the similar vocalizations, and depending on what I'm looking for for final results, this may be all I need to get a quick survey of the diversity of vocalizations detected at this site. Thank you for watching part one of the Quick Start for Clustering videos. Part two will address how to use a simple classifier to cluster and label vocalizations for new input files.